Hello, my name's Jenny and I'm in the Student Engagement Team in Library Services. Today I'm going to be showing you how to press flowers. I've found that connecting with nature is a really lovely way to relax. Um, you can collect flowers and leaves in your garden if you're lucky enough to have one. I've also been collecting things on my daily walk. There's lots of things out at the moment which are really common and prolific. So be mindful just to collect those things. If in doubt, just leave flowers for the insects to enjoy. To press flowers, I press them as flat as possible with my fingers first and get them into pretty much the position that I want them to be in. Just press the flowers into the position that you want them to be in. And I'm using kitchen roll um, because that's what I've got to hand. Um, blotting paper is probably the best thing to use, um, but I found kitchen roll works just fine. And then once you've got them in the position that you want, I uh, just put another bit of kitchen roll over the top, press it down. And then I just put some really heavy books on top. So as many books as you can. So here I've got some that I've been pressing for about a week. You want to leave them for a week or two um, to get most of the moisture out. So let's see what they look like. Here we go. Pressed flowers. So once I've pressed my flowers, I've been making bookmarks with them. Um, so that's one example. Uh, and another. Um, to attach the flowers, I've used PVA glue. So just um, brushing PVA glue onto the paper or card and then attaching the flowers. I've also diluted it um, and just brushed over the top of the flowers once they're attached just to seal them and protect them. Uh, you could use sticky back plastic um, but I don't have any to hand at the moment so I've just been using glue. So I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration today. Take care and goodbye.